Good morning students. Hope you all are doing good. Today we will continue with the chapter The Great Indian Desert. In your previous class you have learned about the Great Indian Desert, its location and climate. Today we will start the new topic vegetation. Vegetation refers to the plant life of a region. A desert is a barren and sandy land that receives very little or scanty rainfall. Naturally, deserts have very little vegetation. As the soil of this region is sandy, which cannot hold water, very few plants grow in this region. Also, this region receives very little rainfall, which results in a scarce vegetation. Only a few bushes and thorny shrubs are found in this region. There is even shortage of drinking water for people who live in this region. Landforms Strong winds that blow in deserts carry sand over long distances and form sand hills. These go up to even 500 meters high and are called sand dunes. There are some places in a desert where underground water comes up to the surface of the land. Such an area is called an oasis. It also makes its surrounding region fertile due to which certain plants grow in this region. Trees like date palm, kikar and babul grow in this region. Now open your textbook, turn to page number 34. Let's start reading from the heading vegetation. There is very little rainfall in the desert. Not many plants grow in the region because of the sandy soil and lack of water. You can only see a few scattered bushes and thorny shrubs. There are a few streams which fill up only when there is rain. There is a severe shortage of drinking water for the people who live there. Landforms As the land is dry and there is very little vegetation, soil erosion due to wind occurs. The desert has many small hills of sand called sand dunes. Sand dunes are formed when sand starts piling around any barrier that blocks the sand-laden desert wind. These sand dunes do not remain at one place. The strong winds of the desert keep moving the dunes from one place to another. The hot winds carry a lot of sand with them and severe sand storms are common. There are some places in the desert where underground water comes up to the surface in the form of springs, date palms, kikar and babul trees and grasses grow in these areas. Such an area in the desert with water and greenery is called an oasis. So children, that was all about the vegetation and landforms of the great Indian desert. We will be continuing this chapter in the next class. Do read the chapter thoroughly. Take care. May God bless you.